Hi, this is Krishna Merchant and thank you for joining us for the Market Roundup. The Indian markets ended marginally higher on Friday. Uh, this was because of some profit booking seeping in after the rally that we saw on Thursday and also investors going into the wait and watch mode ahead of the US jobs data for the month of uh, November. The Sensex was up marginally today to close at 20,997 and the Nifty closed at 6,200. However, for the week, the markets were up 1%. On Thursday, the markets uh, rallied uh, almost around 1% on hopes that BJP may win the state elections. Again, the results will be out on uh, Sunday. However, the exit polls did indicate that BJP was having a lead against uh, Congress and other parties. Um, Today, Asian indices uh, were trading slightly lower ahead of the U.S. Uh, non-farm payrolls data, which will be out later today. This data is very important in determining when the U.S. Federal Reserve will start tapering the massive 85 billion bond buying program. Amongst uh, the individual stocks, ABG Shipyard uh, was up around 4% following reports that it may be close to getting uh, debt restructuring of rupees uh, 10,000 crore from around 22 banks. Amongst other stocks, um, we saw Emphasis which was down around 2%. It uh, reported uh, dismal earnings between uh, October, uh, between August to October. The net profit was down 9% year on year. Tata Power uh, was the top gainer on the Sensex, it was up 6%, Coal India rallied 4% and NTPC was up around 3%. Top losers were HDFC, Hindalco and Bharti Airtel, they all were down 1%. ITC and LNT were also among the top gainers on the Sensex, they were up 1% each. The BSE mid cap and small cap indices were up marginally. While markets have rallied this week on expectations that uh, BJP may win the state elections, most analysts are of the view that uh, the final uh, election results are better than expected. There could be for the momentum building up on Monday. Uh, also, another important indicator will be the jobs data that will be out uh, tonight in the US. That is all for today. Do stay tuned to livemin.com for more updates.